Hi, my name's Tony and I'm from the Supco. And today I want to walk you through the Maloco 12 foot 6 Tempo. So here it is, the Maloco 12 foot 6 Tempo. And I enjoy a good touring board and I like the 12 foot 6 Tempo a lot. I think it represents excellent value for money. It really hits and ticks a lot of boxes for me. If I were out there in your position looking for a good value quality touring shape. So look, let's run you through from the nose down to the tail as we do in all of our videos. And it's the nose that's worthy of note on the 12 foot 6 Tempo from Maloco uh, because it runs a very small yet pronounced amount of rocker in the nose, which particularly in choppy conditions is going to allow you just to overcome any uh, waves and so on with relative ease. It's also its width. It fills out to its 32 inches wide steadily, not too quickly, that make, can make a board feel quite cumbersome. It actually is quite slender until roughly the main central part of the board. I would say the central third of the board is where it really carries most of its width. And that refinement in terms of overall outline shape in the nose and particularly the tail provides a lot of release, feels like there's a lot of glide in the board for what is a board that's 32 inches wide. And it just, it wants to move. It doesn't feel sticky. And that in a touring shape as stable as this is, well, really, really enjoyable and something that you don't find too often in boards of this dimension. But look, let's walk back down from the nose of the board. We find a really nice carry handle as you do in all of the Maloco boards and you've got the 10.6 and 10.8 Alto as well, but it makes handling the board to and from the water uh, just really, really easy. The deck pad and the overall graphics, I think there's just no fuss. It's quite a clean, conservative aesthetic. It's not really going to offend anyone. And yeah, I like it. It's just tidy. But the bungee is a nice arrangement on the front, simple enough. Uh, and something we've seen before across other brands. The deck pad though, the deck pad is extremely generous. Uh, it's this crocodile skin deck pad that runs over the entire, I would say two thirds of the board towards the tail. And there's just plenty of it, particularly if you're starting to engage in your tail turns as well. And you want to move around the board quite confidently. Well, you can do it on this. You can also paddle over a lot of distance as well. I found on this deck pad uh, with relative comfort and it dries and drains very, very quickly. Should you have water run across the deck. The carry handle, nice neoprene covered carry handle in the center. It's quite wide, I found, with all the Maloco handles. And that actually just means it's far more comfortable to carry, particularly over a distance. And it just works. The deck pad, though, as I say, flows all the way down to the tail. I like how they've integrated the graphics with those on the rail. Also, it just helps tie together what is a good looking package. The valve, though, has plenty of information and instructions around it. It reminds us that this board goes to 18 to 20 PSI with ease. And as a result, it ends up being extremely rigid. But look, let's take the board and roll it over onto its rail. And there you can see that width and that overall um, drawn in outline of the nose, how it broadens then in the center third of the board how it then narrows in the tail of the board. And that is what's giving this really nice, rewarding amount of glide as you paddle on the tempo. There's also a D-ring mounted on the underside of the nose, and that's really just providing you the opportunity to secure it, particularly from the back of um, a boat or if you're tying it onto a riverbank. It's just a nice feature. But the fin and the fin box itself is a nice touch. And because it is a touring board, well, they've put in a really large, generous nine inch touring fin, which is gonna provide a lot of tracking. It also helps a lot in terms of lateral stability with the board as well. And it just uh, means that it's a bit more sure underfoot when you are down on that slightly narrower tail section. Another feature that we see across all the Maloco boards is this um, collapsible or flexible fin box from them as well. And it just means that you can really pack this board down extremely small when you do come to put it away. But that's never really a problem because 
Well, the bag is extremely generous. It's the same bag as you get across the entire Maloko range. It's made out of this soft feel fabric, but the fabric in particular is really highlights the green credentials that Maloko are targeting because it's made out of recycled plastic bottles. The bag overall though is huge and it easily carries the entire board, pump, paddle, everything that comes with the kit. And if you are out in the water for the day, well, you can get everything in it. And it just works. You could probably get everything in it on holiday, to be honest with you as well. The backpack system though is really comfortable and nice waist attachment as well. Lots of padding in there, but it's the wheels. And the wheels for me are a standout feature, particularly on a board at this price point. It's not something you often see, but wheels are often overlooked and you really, really cannot um, place you know, enough value on having wheels on a board like this, on a backpack system like this rather, because it just makes everything easier. And I'm a big believer in that the easier something is, the more often and frequently you are gonna do it. The paddle though, the paddle that comes with the Maloko packages is this. This is a fiberglass three-piece paddle, but it's the blade that I really wanted to highlight to you because it's a really rigid, hard-wearing nylon blade. And what Maloko have done is they've got a selected a paddle blade that has this deep recessed V on the back. And that's doing really two things. That's making the paddle stiff and it's ensuring that all the power that you're putting down is really being translated into the paddle stroke, but it's also providing a good solid catch. So it's really helping to reduce any feathering or any wayward kind of paddle catch um, from deterring to the, uh, heading off to the side of the board, the rail, and just causing any slippage as you go from there. But it's a really nice paddle at the price point. The pump then finally, the pump is a two-stage pump that there, um, isn't a huge standout feature for the board, but there is one thing to it that I really like, and that is the fact that it deflates the board. So if you are get, trying to get the board down as small as possible within the package, where well, you can draw the air out and um, from the board with the pump, as opposed to really relying on you and your body weight to deflate the board. So it's just a nice little touch from Maloko as a whole. So if you are out there looking for a exceptionally good value, very well made, and they have a three year warranty on all of their boards uh, package, then I would take a good, good, long hard look at the Maloko 12 foot six tempo. Thanks for watching our video. If you've got any questions about what you've seen, why not give us a call in the shop or head over to thesupco.com. To stay up to date with all of our videos though, make sure you click subscribe up here and turn on the notification bell. But if you wanna see our next video, well, take a look up here.